real easy, Rob. Your first evaluation. Just gotta tell me what you see in this picture, okay? A lion roaring in the jungle. Okay. What about this one? See a woman taking money out of her purse and getting a gift for a child. Alright. What about this? See a kid spending time with his family. Alright. Get that done. What are you writing? Just notes. Tell me how's your family doing? They're doing fine. Mom and dad argue once in a while. But it's normal for them. Pretty sure they'll figure it out. Are you still hearing voices? It depends. What are they telling you? I don't hear them much with the medication that you have me on. But when I do hear them, one of them remains the same. He's adamant that he wants to rule the world. Why? He wants to make it better. Have you been having suicidal thoughts? No. Have you? Just, uh, I'll do my job. Do you want my job? <laughs> I do need the money. I'm gonna schedule you back in about a week, all right? Put you on 10 milligrams. If you need any refills, you gotta let me know, all right? All right? I'll see you later. It was nice talking to you. Nice. Enjoy your day. No problem, Dr. Oh, and, uh, hey, Doc. Yeah. Don't let me down, because those meds, they're working. All right, Rob. So what do you mean that this is your game? We're doctors. Rita, I mean, you got to look at it this way. Medicine has been around since the beginning of time. It's not witchcraft if it heals people. That's what I've been trying to get people to understand. You know, I'm not here to argue with you, but look at those charts. We've made no progress. The parents and relatives of our patients are concerned. I I'll, I'll get personal with you. I honestly believe that if my daughter would have taken her medication, she'd still be here by then. It's life that wears people down, John. Some people just can't take the hand that they've been dealt with. And your medicine fix isn't doing anything. How do you know that? I mean, the data shows that it works. It works for me. Listen, I didn't become a doctor to drug people. I became a doctor to heal. In your world, 
you're trying to save your daughter by drugging your patients until they go numb. And it isn't that easy. People need to be feeling like human beings, not lab rats. That's what heals. That's not true, Rita. And you know that. I'm not a spiritual person. Uh, let's be real. There's nothing magical about fixing people. This life is like a theater. And when the curtain goes down, everything fades to black and the show is over. Now, you can't bring your daughter back unless the director writes a happy ending. Reality is not a theater. And these parents want you to heal their children. They want you to make them better. And if they didn't, they wouldn't keep bringing them here. Now that is reality. You gonna eat your food? Where am I? You, you sort of your thoughts. You got caught. You one of us now. One of who? The mental. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. See, you told white jackets what we all tell them. You told them that, that you walked this life before, that you've been here before. <laughs> I, I was by the bathroom when I overheard them talking about it before they admitted you in here in this nice, nice facility. Yeah, yeah. Don't you, you, oh, you use one of us now. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> you know, that's what we crazy folks, <laughs> we like to call them the angels talking. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not crazy. I just, I just blacked out. Shh. You have to be careful what you say. You can't talk too much around here. See, this place is made for surveillance. Look at the walls. They, they watch and observe everything that we do. <laughs> but, but don't worry, boss friend Jason. He, he knew you was coming. <laughs> yeah. See, see, we's got a plan. Yeah, yeah. Plan? <laughs> see, I've been in this hospital, this institution, this ward, for over five long years. And I, I've been with just about every medication that you can think of, you know? And what I've come to learn, that, that's experience, is that every everybody's story it's the same, the patterns, you know? They talk about how they hear from these voices from the other side, you know? But, but nobody else can hear these people, whatever talks to them. And uh, they talk about life. And uh, but there's a girl, uh, Liza here, she, she wears this pillowcase on her head. She had been to about five different planets. And, and there's another one, Little Ray. Really, really a good, decent fella. He talks about, he swears that God himself talks to him every night. That's serious. God, you know. But, but, but you, you, you special. See, you's going to be my ticket out of here. Yeah. Me. Yep. <laughs> you's going to be my ticket. You see, you see, one thing I've learned about this madhouse, this this institution, is that shh, nobody can stop fate. You can't stop it. You see, you see, my dreams tell me things. And, uh, and I had a dream last night about a goddess, a goddess with supernatural powers. Yeah, and the goddess is you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. No. All right. I think I'm just gonna go to my room. Later. Hey, look, listen, listen, listen. I like it. See, give it time. You know, it's no sick here. You just got to give it time. See, you see, I got to tell you this because you, you can't stop fake. You see, use a little shell shock right now. We all get like that, okay? But, 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 but when you go in there, and you just go in there, and you lie back down. The spirits, uh, the forces, 
that, that covered all this. He's going to start it. He's going to start talking to you again, and, and you you'll be out here right back out here talking to me. You see, that's how it works. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, but, but I've got to tell you this because you've got to know this. He's crazy, folks. He's got to stick together. You see, I'm not crazy. <laughs> you see, they don't know that, but we's crazy, folks. We know you's okay. You know. That's why we crazy folks got to stick together. But, 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 but at about nine o'clock, when they's come to pay you down to give you your medication, see, so you see, you's gonna see, you gonna see what I'm talking about. But, but if there's one thing I do, I just got to plant this in your head, is that you, you see, you's gonna be my ticket out of here. That's, that's a fact. Yeah. It's cocaine in the food! Alright man, here is your burger. Do not ask how I got it. You can tell we missing the maintenance crew. The tools rusting out, everything. Well, I mean, I can get it. No. Let's see. Bro, what is this? What? You asked for a mega burger with no ketchup. Right? No! I said I wanted a mega burger and then I sneeze. I said I chew. The order is wrong. Uh, oh. uh, my bad. I, I may have been a little bit excited. I got hungry on my way here, but. Other than that, have you taken a look at Hannah's charts? Did you see the videos? The girl is biting other patients on the ward, Ron. What type of medication do you got her on? Bite? She's biting. Her. Well, I, I mean, I put her on rubber on to, like, anti to. Preston, not it's supposed to help her, not. No, that girl need an antipsychotic. I can't yeah. have patients bite other patients on my ward, Ron. That's unprofessional. I understand that. I understand. I'll get the nurses to fix it. So, uh, anyways, that's not really the reason why I came in here for, though. Well, what did you come out here for? Well, it's. Holiday season. Oh my but, God! You talk um, about the Christmas bonus. Yeah, and I gotta like you know. Get some. Listen, when we when I when the grant falls through, I'll take good care of you. All right. Mm -hmm. If if we were swimming in dough, I would not have had to lay off the maintenance crew. You see, I'm pulling my weight around here. All right. I understand that, man, but my pockets look. No, nope, we we will be fine, Ron. Just keep doing what you're doing. I got you. Trust me. All right, all right, all right. But uh, anyway, speaking of which, how's your she double doing? Who, Kathy? Yeah. Oh, that's a lost cause. I'm telling you right now, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't know how this is all going in. Oh man. That's Listen, uh, up. I gotta get these washers fixed because somebody gotta wash the patient's clothes. All right? Yeah. It's getting rough around here. All right. But, but don't think I'm not listening. I got you. All right. Once we get some money and these grants fall, I got the paperwork pending. Once the grant paperwork falls through, I got you, all right? I'll, I'll make sure you get your Christmas bonus. All right. Out of all of them, you, you, the, you the one, bro. You've been helping out a lot. All right. All right, I'll get these washers, washers fixed. All right, I'll just have the patients gather up their clothes, put it in the hamper, and roll them back here. All right, cool. All Thanks right. a lot. All right, I'll meet you back here at five. All right. Hello, good evening, Mrs. Johnson. How's my daughter? Your daughter is quite fine. We've ran some tests on her. She hasn't shown any signs of infidelity. We haven't had any issues with her as of recently. Would you like to see her? Absolutely. All right. Well, you can have a seat right here, and I'll let her know that she has a visitor. All right. All right. Right this way, Penny. Here you are, Mrs. Johnson. Welcome to my new home. Isn't it great? I'll leave you two to be. Penny, what on earth happened to your hair? I don't know, but I kind of like it when I'm about. I get three meals a day and I get to do puzzles. The only thing I don't like is the meds they put me on. It makes me feel dizzy like a zombie. Meds? I told them not to 
doesn't put you on anything. These people are so crazy. They're testing It's me. okay, mom. The doctor just said I needed the meds to help me sleep. Do you even know where you are right now? Of course. I'm in a section of Pope Louisiana. Penny, get serious. This is serious business. You're in a psych ward. What are you talking about, mom? You don't remember? No. Me, you, your brother Fred, we're all out in the backyard doing some yard work. When you passed out, I did. Yes, you did, Penny. I'm sorry, Mrs. Johnson. I'm sorry to cut this short, but um, all of our patients need to take their medication. The visiting hours is over as of right now. You gotta get better, okay, Penny? I'll be back tomorrow. Make sure someone can switch you out. Come with me, Penny. to the water bill, Muddy John. Okay, I think it'll start this, all right? Give up on your dream, John. You cannot cure crazy. Why do you keep spending all our money to keep your crazy house open? Love you too, David. Love you too. I'm gonna say it one more time. If you love your family, you will stop spending all of our money on a failed dream. You can't cure crazy people. Pay our bills. Break you out. Please, I know you can see a little bit. Hey, come on, Mark. No! No! Yes! No! You're not going to get me! Man, we're going to get you out of here, all right? Oh, God! Oh. Finally cut this 80s hairstyle you got going on here. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's talk about you first. How are you? You doing good? Oh, doing okay. great? Mm -hmm. I'm good. So far, can I so far? help you assist with anything? Yes, actually. Oh, oh okay. All right. Uh, hold on. Um, here, here. Take it, take it, take it's it. It's all here? Yeah, it's all there. It's all, it's all there. You can, you can count it. You can count it. I'm sorry. Okay. It's all there. Sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Bro, just don't shoot. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Rob? You've been taking your medicine? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Mr. Washington, I'm very sorry that I couldn't make it to our appointment that was scheduled. But as for uh, everything else, you know, I get busy. So, business. Business? Business, I mean, you know. And business is booming, quite frankly. <laughs> oh, you all right? <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Oh, you know him? Yeah, yeah he a little, he's one of my patients. Yo, patients? Well, tell him to stop coming here and robbing me. This is the fourth week in a row. He done robbed me. I'm sorry, but listen, he just, I, 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 gotta, I gotta get to him, all right? Listen, I hope that accounts for your loss, okay? Um, my, lo my loss? I'm gonna need therapy after this. Who about to check and see if I'm okay? Oh, damn. Yo, come on, bro. Cut off my good luck. Oh, Lord, I feel so uncomfortable. I've had that, that hairstyle for a long time. 
You all right over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm just thinking about my mom and dad. Listen, that's a pity. You, you don't have to be, you know, afraid of me. You know, I've lost a lot. Now I've lost my hair. I, I, I at least need a friend, somebody to talk to. All the other patients got moved up. It's just me and you. We all, we got nothing but time left on this Lord war. I told you we got to stick together, okay? I don't want nothing from you, just conversation. It helps me, okay? At least tell me, tell me a little bit about your mom and dad. Uh, I don't think I should. Well, tell me how you got today, Pity. How'd you get today, Pity? Would you want to talk about that? <laughs> you want to know that of all stories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, we got time. A lot of time. You know? Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> this, this is the way my mom tells it. When, when I was born, my mom, she had been in labor for hours. Seemed like days even. Yeah. But she took it like a chimp. She was so strong. Still is. Now my dad, on the other hand, <laughs> you would think that him being a military man, he'd be, you know, prepared for this kind of stuff. Doesn't seem bloodshed and all that. No. He was screaming like, ah! Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, he ended up running out, you know, like, like a little girl. And <laughs> when he left, he there was a penny that fell out of his pocket onto the seat that he was sitting in. And essentially, that's that's how it happened. That's how I got the name. I pity that's that's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wild. Life's wild. Yeah, yeah, life is wild. Life is wild. Oh, hey, where were you last night? Hacker is on suicide watch and he claims the devil is going to speak it to him again. Do you believe I thought about having my wife killed last night? Stay here, speak. Wait, what? John, didn't you just hear what I just said? She doesn't, she doesn't like the position that I put myself in. She doesn't support what I'm doing. Oh, man, that's, that's not good. So, what did you want me to do about Hector? What does he take? Oh, he's taking powder. I have put him on an anti-psychotic. He claims that he keeps having conversations with people from heaven and hell. He says they want him to come home. Listen, I, I wouldn't have a talk to him, all right? All right. Did you want to also talk to his mother as well? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right. Hey, um, don't let your wife discourage you from doing what you want. the way. Do you ever sleep? One day we'll sing together, just you and me for the whole world. Come on, Penny. What do you want from me? I just want a friend, someone to help me. Help you with what? I have to fix something that I broke. You know, 
I'm hungry. So there's a store close by. How do you know so much about this area? Uh, I don't know. Quis coincidence? You know? Sus. Am I, am I the only one who can hear and see you? Because it seems like I'm the only one who can. Oh, you are the only one who can see and hear me. Why? What do you want from me? If I tell you something bad may happen, I can't interfere with time. But all I know is I need you and you will need me. Sassy. There's a lady? I'm hungry. Oh my god. There's a lady who wants to kill someone dear to her. She'll be near the store, but she'll help you. I don't want that help. Oh, you'll be fine. She's gonna take you to your house. Is she gonna kill me? No. John. I thought you said you turned your phone off when you were at home. Hello? Seven in the morning, FD, all right? So I just came up. Don, we may need you in here. Penny is missing, and we got it on film that she walked through all these open doors as if she knew where she was going. We don't know where she's at, and we may need you in here, John. I don't... I don't know what to tell her mother. It's literally on the tape. All the doors, everything, open. It's weird, like, sci-fi stuff. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. Did you call any station, any, any hospital, the police, hospital police at all? No. No, I didn't call yet, but I'm on it. All right, let's move my way here. All right, give me some time. Got to head to the All right, all right, bye. No. Is that her? Okay. Um, excuse me. Can you help me? Excuse me, do I know you? I, I don't think so, but I, I'm lost. Can you help me? I'm trying to get home. Well, can I ask you uh, where you're coming from? I'm too ashamed to tell. Well, honey, I'd certainly like to help you, but I can't help you if I don't know anything about you, so... Come on. Come on. I'll take you with me to get some help. Sometimes it happens, you know, a patient may wander off, but there's not, there's never been a time in history, at least here, where we haven't found hey, a patient uh, unharmed. Unharmed, okay? Yeah, yeah, we're on it. We're on it. Trust me, we will find her. She would they, they usually turn up, all right? They can't go any, they, they can't go anywhere else. Because I have to get back to my staff. I gotta get back to work. I'll I'll, I'll keep you updated as soon as we find her. All right? All right, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, let's go back. Damn it, her mother is pissed! Uh, yeah, so is your wife. You should go home, John. You've been here since 4 a.m. Everything is falling apart. How do you lose a patient? Jesus Christ! You, you gotta think positive in these situations, John. We'll find you. You know, you know, maybe my wife is right. Maybe there is no cure, no cure for crazies. Maybe there is no hope for these people. Maybe I just need to step away, you know, maybe let Rita take over for a little while, go to vacation. No. Now, before you even consider the costume, just try to, try to 
kind of remember the very first day that you opened this place. I mean, look around you. All of you accomplished your hard work. Sometimes memories are the best and only medicine that you need. You know, I appreciate the pep talk. If she turns up, let me know. I'm gonna sit here by myself for a little while just to gather my thoughts. Alright. Well, not a bad pep talk, right? Uh, no problem. Uh, yeah, let me you, just let me know if she turns up. Alright. I'll let you gather your thoughts. I'll let them know I'm in the back and we'll find it. Alright. I'll let you know. Okay. That food is almost ready. There's some juice for you. Thank you. You look hungry. Yes, ma'am, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I was at the store. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what hospital were you at? Willow Creek Mental Institute. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this your family up on the walls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all look so nice. Mm -hmm. Are you married? I see your ring. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm married. Why don't you have your wedding photos up? Well, I have my reasons for that. That's fair. But can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. uh, at that hospital, uh, did they put you on any kind of medication? Yeah, it's protocol. They put everyone there on some sort of meds. Mm -hmm. Makes us feel icky. You must really like angels. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, how did you and your husband meet? My husband and I met under a willow tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds romantic. Mm -hmm. But what about you? Do you have any family around here? I do. Yeah. They think I'm crazy, though. Well, why would they think that? Because there's, there's this voice. It, it tells me what to do at times, and I think it's God, though. Well, is that voice telling you anything right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to kill your husband. Why would that voice be telling you a crazy thing like that? I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I did, though. <clears throat> so, are these your kids on the walls? I mean, did you have any kids? Why isn't that voice of yours telling you whether I do or not? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I had a daughter. She's not with us anymore, though. No longer. So. She's dead? Yeah. Yes. She, she died of suicide. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You remind me of her though. <laughs> so, well, um, let's get you together so that we can get you to the hospital before they come looking oh, for wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Um, before we go, I, I really want to ask you something, and you seem like a pretty good person. Okay, well, what do you want to know? I mean, am I really, am I really crazy? I mean, do I, is there something no. wrong with me? No, no, no. Don't convince yourself that you're crazy. Some of us are just really Gifted. Hmm. All right? Gifted. That's all. Now let's get it together. Let's get you out of here so that we can get to the hospital. We gotta hurry. All right. That means I get to take the food on? You can take the food. <laughs> <Let you go. laughs> I'll get you in, I'll get with you in a second. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find her charts. Yeah, this is getting out of Ready? 
Pity, Pity, how long have you been here? I went to go get some food. Pity, how did she get out of here? I heard a voice telling me that they'd open the doors for me. What voice? I don't know. Maybe it was God. Pity, you just can't just leave here without telling anybody, okay? You have to stay put. Now I'm going to have to put you in isolation. You can't do that. We have to, Pity. That's what isolation is. I have to keep you in your room. You broke the rules, all right? S stay put. So this is what you're doing now? What, Kathy? Studying and drugging young girls for kickbacks. Listen, Kathy, you stay in your profession and I'll stand by, all right? You're a legal drug dealer, John. Kathy, no! No! You don't know anything about my patients, Kathy. You don't know anything about what these kids these parents are going through out here. It's a jungle out here, Kathy, so stay in your lane. I know a lot about your patients. As a matter of fact, I found one who escaped from your madhouse. Pity? I want to divorce John. Kathy, what about me, all right? What about me? What about all this we've been through for years? And I just want to walk away? This means a lot to me, Kathy. And I just want to stop it. Kathy, Kathy, I lost a daughter too, all right? Oh, what, you want to bring that up? Where's that for? Is that what this is about? Where are you going? Where are you going? Listen, 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 all right, listen. I need mercy from you, all right? But it's gone. They treat me like I'm your enemy, but I'm not. Be a good man, Kathy. It's tired. <laughs> Slam the door. Ridiculous. Clumsy old doctor. Damn. I don't need to fire her. Hey man, I ain't got no more money in my drawer. What do you want? What are you talking about? You just robbed me! Dude, are you okay? What do you want? Why are you here? Look, I need a prescription film. Oh, well, I can't do that without John. Would you know where he's at? No, don't nobody know where he's at. All right. Are you sure you don't know? No, do I look like his keeper? Look, I just need a prescription filled. Well, I, I can't do that. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you not coming in and robbing me. You okay, dude? Like, seriously, I did not even do nothing wrong with you, man. You! Stay off the weed, dude. Uh Oh. Why am I still here? 
There's nothing wrong with me. You never said anything was wrong with you, Penny. Then why am I still here? We just got to get your brain levels balanced out. You have a chemical imbalance. I don't have a chemical imbalance. I just want to go home. Calm down. Calm down. Why don't you tell me about these voices that you're hearing? No. Why? Why should I? You don't even care. Don't think like that. I do care. But I can't help you until we get things balanced out. My dad told me it was my guardian angel. My dad was a military man. Was? What happened to your dad? He died serving in the war. I miss my dad. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about my dad? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about your dad. I mean, what type of person was he? He was a military man. He was a good man. <laughs> he used to tell me to sleep by the window so that the sun could wake me up for school in the morning. Why would he tell you that? Because I was always late. I miss my dad. Pity. You'll, you'll be all right, okay? You'll be okay. Why do you think there's always something wrong with me? Hey, you'll be fine. Oh, you look like you've been hit by a truck. What? What's What's wrong? Uh, you know, I just really, I've been coming to this library just to sit down and chat with somebody who has got at least almost equal brain power and authority as I have. So, uh, I just need to sit down and chat with somebody, Rita, really. Yeah, I heard what happened in your ward. Oh, really? Uh, well, it's, uh, least in my good place right now. Well, I'm assuming that you're thinking about throwing in the towel, right? Nah, can't do that. Most of uh, what's happened is happening outside. I can't throw it inside. You've been doing this for a while. I mean, what's the problem? Is it your wife? No, no, it's not my wife. Don't lie to me, John. It's Kathy. She's driving you crazy. Well, you know, ironically, she magically stumbled across one of my patients that escaped here. And uh, now she wants a divorce. You know that's bad. She could close you down if you weren't considering it already. Uh, no, I got to keep the ball rolling. But but I tell you what, uh, this is the main reason for this uh, chat session. Uh, I was thinking about maybe you coming back down here as you've been doing traveling back and forth, but come down here permanently and run this facility until I get things straightened out. Would you do that for me? So you want me to come and steer a sinking ship? Oh, God, don't sink it in. I'm going to have to go there. <laughs> you know, when I first met you, I thought you were a little stupid. Mm -hmm. But I see now that I was wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what? I will consider running your nut house for you on one condition. One condition. Mm -hmm. That you let me do it without medication. Oh, no, no. Not just I. They would never let you run a mental institution without medication. It's too many risks. But don't give me hope and then give me the cold shoulder. You want me to stand up to the establishment. I, I can't do that. I can't allow you to do that, Rita. Oh, no, no. Do you know how long I've been doing this? Huh? Do you know how long that I have sat and watched you make a fool out of yourself? 
listen, I know what to do. And besides that, I've been waiting for this opportunity. No, Reed, I can't. I can't do that. I just can't. It's too many risks involved. You know what? You're you're just too soft, John. <laughs> First time that I met you, I said to myself that you were a little soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you taken a good look at your ward? Your patients are zombies. As far as I'm concerned, you deserve everything that's coming to you. you been? It's been going crazy around here. Rita said that they were given orders to not give our patients any medication. And then Nikki is saying you're under investigation for taking kickbacks. John, what is going on and what are you looking for? I'm looking for Penny's charts. They're in my office. Can you grab them? John, it's over. Go home, try to salvage what you have that's left with your wife. I'm not a criminal! Out of all people, you should know that! They said you were taking kickbacks, John. Do I look wealthy enough to be taking kickbacks? Now go get me Penny's charts! Here it is, Dr. John. Penny, Penny, how, how did you get your charts? I mean, Mr. Ron left it on the work computer and I took it, and I was reading it while I was in the bathroom, and then I overheard you saying my name, so I'm here now, but are y'all okay? Penny, that was wrong. Why did you do that? Will you nurses stop talking to me like I'm stupid, dumb, and crazy at the same time? We know what's going on. Penny, who is we? Your patients. We just want to go home. I'm afraid to tell you that's not how this works. It never does. Correct. It, it, and how do you keep getting out of your space? Because you keep leaving the door open when you leave and come back in. I, I really think you should start listening to Miss Rita more. I mean, the medicine makes us feel like trash. There has to be a better way. It has to be in your system. It's not taste. That can't be true, because I've been here for a while now, and nothing's changing. Nothing about me or this ward is changing. I, I just want to go home. Why can't I go home? Because you have to get better first, Pity. It takes time. Better from what? Was I even on the first place? You up a level. Oh, a level. A level. Oh, so there's a level in, in, in humanhood now. <laughs> I hate to interrupt your little fiesta. Bro, why don't you bro. be honest and upfront? Bro, how did you get in here? Be yeah, you cannot be in here, bro. Bro, listen, listen, you can't. If anyone deserves to be in here, it is me. Put the gun down, okay? Bro, this I is not. Put it down when I want. And quite frankly, right now, my business is here. On it, bro. No, oh, she deserves to be in here. That's what she is a part of it. You, of all people, should know without testing your medication, without maybe slightly doing research is enough for you. You want to know why I told you that I am up to business and why my business is good? Because I've been doing research. You haven't been hiding what your patients have been doing. What do you mean, bro? All oh, your info is out because of me. Wrong. And wrong. I've even done further research that she whoa. wants to go home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Bro, bro, you can't wait, wait. that gun at anybody, okay? Just come, 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 come,
We are live here at the Willow Creek Mental Institution where well-known Dr. John Washington was shot last night. Reports say that he rescued one of his patients by jumping in front of the bullet. Now, at the moment, his condition remains unknown. Some sources say that he is in a coma and some sources say that he has passed on. We will keep you updated on this developing story. You said a dream? Yeah. What you dream about? Well, I dreamed that I died and then I went to the underworld to save somebody and I came back. Wow, you know, baby, 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 it was us. Maybe it was all of us in this hospital, this ward, the patients. Wait a minute. What if that's Makara! Makara, where are you? I'm right here. I think I figured it out, but I need to know more. You're the one that's been talking to us. You're the you're the one that caused all of this. Bravo, Benny. Together, we can make magic. If it weren't for you, I'd be in another life. Only you could save me. John is your father, and Kathy is your mother. That's what you're the voices that Rob's been hearing. That's why you needed my help. You and that bullet, it was intended for me so that you could steal my life to get yours back. A life for a life. Penny, who are you talking to? someone to replace me. We'll be one happy family again. Just you, me, mom, and... Somebody and I came back. Go ahead, finish what you were telling me earlier. Though. Oh, Corbell and Elias going over there and play cards later on. They uh, was talking about going down to uh, the uh, that new market on uh, Preston Street. I guess they was talking about going down there to hang out if you want to go over there this evening. They didn't market on Princeton Street? Yeah, they, they want to go down there. They got meat, fish. Then we go play cards. They want to play cards. I ain't playing cards with y'all. Well, that's what they talk about. And that's what we go have. You play partners? They want to play spades, but oh. I don't have the patience to play with Corbell because Corbell always trying to cheat. I'll play with you if, yeah, we if you the, do right. We could be on teams. We okay. Be on teams. No renege. I won't. I won't. Okay. You said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> I need you and you will need me. Am I dead? Of course 
you're not dead. No, no, no. But you'll go back. But I need your help. That's why I need you. Pity! Pity, come on in here and eat. Pity? Yes, Dad? You're the voices that Rob's been hearing. That's why you needed my help. You and that bullet. It was intended for me. So that you could steal my life to get yours back. A life for a life. I mean, Mr. Ward. Mr. Oh, wow. Ward. <laughs> All right, roll it. <laughs> <laughs> you did not get that on camera. Uh, roll it. Got him. Let's go right in the bloopers. Uh, got him. All right, here we go. Damn, damn. All right. And. <laughs> Action. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's going on. We. Your patience. We just want to go home. I'm afraid that's not how this works. It never does. I'm just gonna say that's how it works. No, you can't. No, that was you. Me, you, and your brother Fred were out doing some yard work. Sorry, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> oh my god. Why do you nurses keep acting like I'm stupid, dumb, and crazy at the same time? I don't, I don't get this. Seriously? No, I ain't lost it. We know it. We know it. Yeah. Oh, he laughed. Oh, this guy laughed. Alright. Film. Everybody else look a hot Yeah, mess. I, I look a hot I'm mess sitting here myself. sleeping. He got a whole, uh, I don't know, Rick <laughs> James wig on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. You're literally the only beautiful character in this movie. Penny, that was wrong. Why did you do that? Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! And. Action. Just said. <laughs> <laughs> Run! So, all right, dead. Oh, you look bad, that's dead. Dead. <laughs> really, really bad, Travis. Thank you. And we all know that there has to be a better way. <laughs> what? Where am I looking? You looking at Lene? She's standing right here. Stay right there, sure. Right, here we go. And action. Is she trying to not to laugh? Oh my God! <laughs> You got the giggles now. All right, try to pitch yourself. Oh pitch yourself. No, because I mean, I'm kind of like, we just dead. Your favorite we... pet just passed away. You got to think. All right, here we oh, go. Damn. I have any pets. She almost cried. <laughs> yeah, how sad is that? All right, here we go. Rolling. 